Are we in that stage now? Is our present situation, it don't take all of that? Well, God help our generation be, be uh, coming up behind us. Because if it took all of that just for us to survive, what do you think is going to happen to this present generation? They're going to need twice as much. Amen. If we stayed in church all day and we still went through all the hell we went through. I heard a preacher on the TV, a big preacher, and he was telling the truth, I believe it was. First Baptist Church, and he was saying, we don't realize our kids are going to college, and he said, most colleges, you're throwing them into some kind of alliance then that you have no idea what's happening. That's right, that's right, that's right. So if they don't think they got to come out of that college and find a church, why are they there? If they think that, oh, I'm away from home now, and I don't have to be made to go no more, then God forbid what we may see one year from now. Because this world that we're living in is not getting no better. So before we can move or change or wonder, shall we come out of the situation we're in? So when you say that, a lot of people are like, yes, my present situation, I know tomorrow's going to be better. It's just like you get saved and you join the church. And then 40 years later, you ain't doing no more than you did when you joined. And you still think you're in the same situation. But guess what? been shifting and sifting back. Yeah. You used to know that it wasn't all right to go out here and get drunk. Amen. But now we're thinking that we just drink a little bit. Right. Um, a little bit. Right. Just a little bit. Right. And our kids are saying, I see the preacher at the bar. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Amen. Right. And you're saying don't do this and don't do that. And they're like, why? Because the present situation that we're living in is not like when we came along. And not like our parents before that. Right. And according to the scriptures, in the last days, yes. mothers and daughters are going to turn against each other. Yes. Your kids are going to turn you in. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Y'all don't believe it. Yes, that's, that's, right. it. that's it. Oh, that's, that's what the scripture says. That's, that's what it says. So before we can go on with part C, we need to evaluate where we are. Yeah. Right. You still jumping, but you ain't got what you used to have. Wow. You still hollering and singing, but you don't have what you used to have. And because it was never real. That's why you figure it don't take all of that. Because anybody that's saved knows it takes all of that. And then some. And then. But we let our girlfriends pull us off. Our boyfriends pull us off. Of our stance. And she may look good. And he may look good. And you can't live without them, you think. Yeah. 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 But after a while, by and by, you're going to wish yeah. that you're going to listen to somebody. Yeah. All the kids say, I don't watch Lifetime movies. You need to watch them because they're Lifetime movies. Yeah. Talk about real life. Yeah. But these are the days we're living in. So it behooves us to examine ourselves. Yeah. Before we try to go on any further yeah. and talk about this situation we're in presently, yeah. because if we think about it, some of us are going to be saying, I'm getting up out of here. Yeah. Yes, all right. I don't want to live like this any longer. Yeah. Right. I want to raise up like I used to and say, For your glory, Lord. Yeah. For your glory. Yeah. I will do yeah. anything. Yeah. For your glory, Lord. Yeah. For your glory. Yeah. For your glory, Lord, I can take the pain. I can take the shame. I can take the hard edge that it takes. Because I'm getting up out of here. I'm going up yonder. Thank you, Jesus.